Have you ever heard people talking about building a wall that divides two nations? Well, hi, my name is Juan Perez, and I am running for Councilperson A. I will be talking about immigration. Mexicans are being mistreated in this country lately when many of us were natives to this very land. Did you know that the president is building a wall and it will not protect anyone from anything? Consider this. When you build a fence, do you really believe that fence will protect you from the bad people? N correct. It only keeps out the good people. The same exact thing with the president's wall. Dangerous cartel members would just build a ladder or a tunnel and still get to America. There were 12 million immigrants from Mexico living in the United States in 2016, and fewer than half of them were in the, in the country illegally. We are, we are good, hardworking people who want a chance here in the land of free and the home of brave. Listen to this. The, listen to this. The arrest rate for native-born Americans was about 46% higher than the illegal immigrant arrest rate. So we are not here to cause trouble, but to live a happy and healthy lives like all citizens of Wilmington and the USA deserve. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. So hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. If you would like to stop dividing people by skin color, then vote for one. I would stop all of this cruelty and allow all of us to be judged by, based on our characters, not our skin color. A vote for me is a vote for all of us to be free, free from racism and cruelty. Hi, my name is Meadow Marks and I'm running for Council Person A. Today I'm going to be talking about kidnapping. Kidnapping happens each year and nearly 800,000 children, children are reported missing. That's more than 2,000 a day. Raise your hand if you heard about someone being kidnapped. You must feel terrible. When I go to Walmart, I see pictures of teenagers and children that were kidnapped. Some people get kidnapped, some are also found dead. Sadly, that shouldn't happen to anyone. Raise your hand if you think I'm right. Did you know that 9% of the people that are, that are kidnapped is by a family member? Did you also know that 99.8% of the children who go missing do come home? Are you glad the kids get to see their parents after they got kidnapped? In Mexico, kidnapping is getting worse. Raise your hand if you know someone who lives in Mexico. One way to stop kidnapping is to stay with your parents. If you go somewhere by yourself, keep a phone with you. And don't listen to people if they say your parents told them to pick up you. Pick you up. Get as far away as you can from the person and then call your parents. And also, we should have neighborhood watch signs if you see neighborhood watch signs. If you see someone getting kidnapped in a car, take a picture of the car tag and call the police and show them the tag. Remember, follow all the instructions I told you. So you can, so if you want to stop kidnapping, vote for me, Metal Marks, so we can make a change because I am the change in the problem. My name is Isada Maria Tega, and I'm a fifth grader at Lewis Elementary, and I'm running for council person at Large B. The reason why I'm running is because of gun violence. Gun violence is a big issue in our community. Last year, there were 71 incidents of gun violence in our city, and this year there are already 14 incidents, and it has only been a few months. An incident happened on January 23rd near my school, and another happened less than a week later. Some students were waking up to gunshots at night. If you elect me, I will solve this problem by working with the community groups like Ceasefire to lower the number of incidents of gun violence. 
I think we as a community need to come together and get more involved to fight this battle. Unity is the key to success. So vote for Isad Ortega for Councilperson at Large B, and let's fight gun violence together. Hi, my name is Jayana Mathis, and I am nine years old. I go to Lewis Elementary School, and I am involved in Smart Academy, which is a group of students who participate in small groups of activities to enrich our education. I will be an excellent candidate for my city council person at large B because of my great concern for the well-being of children. I would like to address the problem of child abuse in our country. Current statistics show us that almost five children die every day from child abuse. This is a big problem for Wilmington and the state of Delaware. When a child is abused, there are many negative things that can happen. These children suffer every day. They cannot learn effectively and this scars them for their entire lives. Here's what I'm going to do about it as city council person. I plan to put mentors in every elementary school in the city. These mentors will be a safe person to talk to. Every child needs a trusted adult that they can talk to if they feel unsafe outside of school. I'll also add child abuse prevention curriculums to every school in Delaware. This curriculum will teach students about keeping themselves safe and also recognizing abuse like unsafe and unwanted touches. They will also be encouraged to report any abuse that they suspect. This program will help children to get out of unsafe, abusive situations. A vote for me is a vote for every child in our community. If you care about children, vote for me, Jayana Mathis, or city council person at Large B. Our world needs to change, and we can do this together. Hi. Hola. Me llamo Kayla Guzman, and I go to Williams Lewis, which is a bilingual school. I'm running for city council person at large C, porque quiero reportar y reparar malas situaciones en nuestra comunidad, because I want to report and repair bad issues in our community. One issue facing our community is illegal drug use, especially heroin. This type of drug is dangerous and deadly. Do you know there were 419 overdose deaths in Delaware last year? People that use heroin can be separated from their families and friends. They can commit crimes to support their drug habit. Nobody wants to live in a community where people are robbing others for drugs. Treatment for heroin users is painful and difficult and includes doctors, medications, and therapy. If I'm elected, I would start a program to help some of the 11,000 Delawareans get treatment. The city will provide free buses to take people and from treatment. This program can be the difference between life and death. As I close, remember that heroin is dangerous and deadly. But treatment can provide hope. A vote for me is a vote to make Wilmington drug free. My name is Ramir Berry. I'm here today to talk about um, how important sports are at elementary schools. Sports are important because we make new friends, we lose weight, and you get a lot of exercise. Sports are healthy, healthy for kids. Sports give kids more confidence to make more friends. I know that because I have more confidence to make friends. I played football for three years, and... It made me a better person. I feel like that sports keep kids off the streets. This is this is why we should have sports in elementary schools. Vote for me, Ramir Berry. Hi everyone, my name is Dariana and I'm running for Counselor Person D. I'm here to talk about bullying. Bullying needs to stop children. Yes, you heard me, that's right. Little kids are literally harming themselves, and they are doing that because of the harsh words spoken by their peers. Aren't we all human beings? Shouldn't we all be treated with love and compassion? The mental pain of getting bullied hurts more than actually slicing and stabbing themselves. I can name two kids that have committed suicide because of, because of getting bullied. A nine-year-old hung himself in his bedroom, and another nine-year-old committed suicide because he was gay. The bullying needs to stop. Children are dying because of being bullied. Mothers and fathers are losing their own kids 
parents out there know that this is unacceptable behavior. If you hear or see something, then say something. Repeat after me. See something, say something. Please make the right choice and help me so I can help you by putting a stop to bullying. I want to create a law, if accepted, that will stop bullying right here and right now. Please tell your pr teacher, principal, trusted adult, if you see somebody hurting, if, if I will, really, if you really want to stop bullying, vote for me, Dariana, as Counselor Person D. I will stop bullying for good. Say it one more time. See it? See something? Say something. See something? Say something. Thank you for your time. Hi, my name is Payne Sanders, and I'm running for Council Person D. And while I believe gun and crime is a serious issue, I chose to talk about something we as kids can actually do something about now. And that's pollution. Here's just a few facts about how serious my issue is. Pollution kills over 1 million seabirds and 100 million mammals every year. Humans are mammals. Let me ask you this. Have you ever known anyone ha that has had cancer or some heart disease? These are just a few diseases pollution can cause. If I'm elected, I would suggest student organized cleanup days, picnics, and increasing the personal tax percentage of anyone caught and convicted of living by 5% for two years to help pay for a government run litter clean up program. If they are unemployed or cannot pay, he or she will have to work in the program as community service. I believe this will help clean up our community and keep it beautiful. Earth is your home and mine. Let's treat it like such. And remember, if you want a good election, make the right selection. Vote for Payne Sanders. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Julia Abbott, and I'm running for treasurer. Do you know if your money is safe, the money you work so hard for? Well, I can tell you it's not that safe right now because so many people have or have gotten scammed. Have you ever gotten scammed? One way you can prevent being scammed is by not giving out your credit card information. Little words can tell a long story. People can take the information you give them and hack into your savings account and money apps such as PayPal, Amazon Pay, Google Pay, and Apple Pay. There are some paying websites that are most commonly used and more profitable to online scammers. Be aware that scammers will ask for information that would not be required by financial services, such as your social security number, PIN number, and access codes to verify your complete account information. If you vote for me, I will enforce laws to prosecute companies who take advantage of the consumers who believe the person on the phone is trying to help them, but in reality may be trying to drain their bank account or steal their identity. I'll provide programs to educate the consumers and enable them to not fall into these traps. So a vote for me will get us one step closer to stopping these online criminals. Remember, Julia's tre treasure equals Wilmington's payday. Good morning. My name is Nevaeh Reese. I am a sixth grade student at Byron Middle School. I am an all-star cheerleader and dancer. I have six siblings four brothers and two sisters, so I know how to get along and work with people. I am running for the Uton City Government Office's Office of Treasurer. The city treasurer is a person who handles the city's money. The city gets their money from people paying taxes. The money goes towards our parks, fixing our streets, helping our schools, and providing school lunches. I am a trustworthy person, so you can trust me with the city's money. Two things that are very important to me that we can use our tax money for are self-harm and school lunches. I will first be talking about school lunches. I need you guys to participate with me. If you don't like school lunches, clap once. I know every school provides zero calories, which is not yummy. It tastes hard like we are in jail. No offense, lunch chefs. I mean, come on, you got to give a kid sugar. Lunch chefs should 
at least provide 50 to 100 calories per day. Yes, we should have healthy food, but a lot of children are getting hungry because they don't like school lunches and refuse to eat it. Milk doesn't always taste wonderful with everything. Ew, milk and tacos? I think our school should give us water or juice that has zero sugar. If you agree, that sounds good. Clap twice. If after every time you eat school lunch, you're still hungry, clap three times. We can make a change about that because we want good food and more of it. You can't change how people feel about you, so don't try. Just live your life and be happy. Self-harm is the worst thing to ever happen to humanity. Self-harm is when you're taking your own life due to problems. The most common problem is bullying. There's one suicide for every 25 attempts. Males make up 79% of all suicides, while women are more prone to having suicidal thoughts. Over 1,000 children over the world, ages 10 to 14, dies by suicide each year. Wow, that's crazy. There are three times as many deaths to suicide from HIV or AIDS. We need to stop this. It is unhealthy for kids and adults to be dying for the satisfaction of not wanting to live or be in this world. Depression can cause suicidal thoughts. If you have suicidal thoughts, call 1-800-273-8255. Help me prevent suicide. We can do this together and fix these two major problems. Vote for me and you will still have loved ones in your life, and believe me, you will be eating better. I'm the one you need for the Office of Treasure. Nevaeh Reese for Treasure. Hello, my name is Bruce Jameson, and I'm running for president of City Council. I'm here to talk to you about gun control. Additionally, how we can stop school shootings, but overall mass shootings around the United States. I just want to ask you something. When is enough enough? Just tell me. When? I feel that I hear about a new shooting every day. But school and shootings just don't make sense to me. We need to find a better way to protect not only our students, but our country too. Gun violence or lack of gun control have caused 27 deaths this year by mass school shootings, let alone all the regular school shootings. I say regular because these shootings have become more and more common every day. Not even in these past years has there been more and more school shootings. Let's think about it. Sandy Hook in 2012. 20 kids between 6 and 7 were fatally shot and killed along with 6 adult staff members. Virginia Tech in 2007. 32 students were shot and killed on the college campus. Columbine, Columbine in 1999, Parkland last year. More people have been killed at schools last year than have been killed while deployed as members of the military. That is a fact about our country. Who wants to think our country is like that? I'm going to help Wilmington and the country to be a better, safer place. As citizens of the United States of America, we have to have stricter gun laws to protect our country guns. I cannot take them away from people who use them properly, nor do I want to take them away from people who use them properly. But I do have to take them away from people who do want to kill or injure others. Even if you do not have a history of criminalization, you have to go through more evaluation. Another thing I wanted to talk about a little was mental health. The shootings I talked about a second ago, most of the perpetrators had mental health issues. Mental health is a person's condition with regard to their psychological and emotional well-being. Sometimes these people can't control what they're doing. Even though they can't do things, maybe other people can. I, as president of city council, will help the mentally affected and make our country better. America, in my opinion, is the place to be. The place to live and have fun. And if you guys believe that, right now our country is not the place we thought it would be. This is a quote by Abraham Lincoln. America will never be destroyed from the outside. If we falter and lose our freedoms, it will be because we destroyed ourselves. This means, as Americans, we have to protect our country together to make it the best place possible. I believe that together, as a team in America, we can stop school shootings, help the mentally ill, and change gun laws. As president, I will do everything in my power to help Wilmington, our country, and even the world. My name is Bruce Jameson, and I don't just speak the change. I am the change. Vote Bruce Jameson today. Hi, my name is Makai Hammond and I'm 10 years old. I go to a dual language school called Los Elementary where we learn Spanish and English. I'm running for Youth and City Council President because I want to help obliterate a thing that continues to affect our community. And that thing's called Urban Blade. By a show of hands, how many of you know what Urban Blade is? Awesome. But Urban Blade is like boarded up houses that are torn apart with like plants growing on top of them, or even worse, inside the house. 
Urban blight also happens also happens to parks after they have been flooded and damaged. I want to change this by first getting construction workers to focus on these abandoned houses to make them more like modern houses, businesses, or even mansions. Second, I would add more drainage and mulch to parks that have been impacted by flooding over the years. This will help make our community a safer place to live with better playgrounds for us to play. Before I go, can everyone put their hands up like this and repeat that for me? Join the fight against Urban Blake. Join the fight against Urban Blake. Thank you. Hi, my name is Alejandro. I live with my parents and I have older siblings who don't live with me. I attend to Pulaski Elementary and I am in fifth grade. My favorite sport is tennis, and my activities at school is cross-age buddies. Some people might think I'm funny, confident, or even excited. That's why I'm running for mayor. The reason you should vote for me is because I will really love to help all the stray animals out there. Because animals are lovable. So, did you know only one out of every ten dogs born will find a permanent home? The main reason animals are in shelters is because owners give them up or animal control come get them. Which we all know that. But did you know animals outnumber homeless people five to one? And each year, approximately, approximately 2.7 million dogs and cats are killed every year because shelters are too full and there are no home for them to stay at. Have you ever seen a dog or cat being hit by someone and then you feel mad because you're probably thinking, hey, the animal has feelings too. And that is true. You might think they don't feel anything, but they feel lots of pain. You yourself might hit your dog because they are acting wild or he or she is disobeying. Well, it's not always right to abuse a dog like that all the time. And if you throw out a dog into the streets, that living animal is going to do things that will get murdered. So, it's good that if you see a stray animal, try to get it and take care of it until you decide to give it to a shelter. But if you don't want to do that, then take care of it until you're ready to bring it to a shelter. So that's why you should vote for me, and I can stop all animal abuse. My role model, Barack Obama, once said, I see Americans of every party, every background, every faith who believe that we are stronger together. Latino, black, white, Asian, Native American, young, old, gay, straight, men, women, people with disabilities, all pledging allegiance under the same proud flag. That's the America that I love. Hola, mi nombre es Lucas Cordwell. I spent three years at Lewis Elementary School, and now I'm attending Richie. Richie, and I'm running for mayor of our great city of Wilmington. Raise your hand if you've heard of immigration. Here's something you may not know. Immigration detention center deaths have reached their highest this year, and that's not even the biggest problem. 1,500 children have been lost and separated from their families. Studies say some of them were under the age of five years old. Imagine if you lost a member of your family. 65 children are separated from their family a day. That means it would only take 23 days for 1,500 children to be lost at these immigration detention centers. President want Trump wants to build a wall, a wall that creates division, a wall that will stop zero crime, and I mean zero. I do not believe in building walls. I believe in tearing down walls, removing walls of division and hate. Historically, walls have helped no one. Ask China or Berlin. In fact, the Statue of Liberty says, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. Send these, the homeless tempest tossed to me. That sounds like an open invitation to a country built by immigrants for immigrants. Yet President Trump says we need a wall so bad that it's a crisis, and he declared a national state of emergency? When I look out my window in Wilmington, I see emergencies and crisis quite often. Murder is a crisis. Homelessness is a real crisis. Hate crimes is a crisis. School shootings are a real crisis. Losing someone's child at an immigration detention center is a crisis. Losing 1,500 is an unnecessary tragedy. Instead of building walls, President Donald Trump should try to stop gun violence, homelessness, and school shootings, which should be our number one top priority. 
There are good families being separated at the border when they are here legally seeking asylum from war-torn countries. These are real emergencies. Remember, the children are our future. We, the people sitting in this room right now, are our future. As Barack Obama once said, we are better together. Knowledge is power. As mayor of Wilmington, I promise transparency. We will make decisions together to help grow and strengthen our community. There are so many problems in this world, and unfortunately, I cannot talk about all of them today. But le let me leave you with this one last thought. I was meant for this position. So get the bad taste of other politi uh, politicians out of your mouth and picture this. Lucas for mayor equals w Wilmington's lifesaver. Heads up. Thank you for your time.